So begin with marking your start line. Okay, so this is my starting line. Now on that line, I'm going to be marking my shoulder. Okay, guys, so my original measurement is 7 inches. I am marking 7 and half inches for the attaching of the dress. So now, you know, my standard, the standard measurement of an average woman is 8 inches for the shoulder. So under that 8 inches mark, I'm going to come down by half an inch for my shoulder edge. One inch for my shoulder snow. So I'm going to be making a neck width of three inches and a neck depth of three inches as well. Okay, so now I'm going to connect this neck together. Okay, like so. All right. And I'm going to connect this to the nape of my neck like so. Alright, so the next thing is to mark from your shoulder to your your chest, your upper chest line and bust. Okay, so this is my shoulder to my bust and shoulder to my chest line is 7 inches. Okay, now shoulder to my under bust is 13 and a half inches and shoulder to my waist is 17, 16 inches plus. 16 and half inches plus half inches for joining it to the back so i'm going to transfer my measurement to this side like that okay so 10 13 and half and 17 inches remember that this is included this is including my joining allowance for the top okay so i'm just going to connect this from together like that Okay, so guys, after joining this point, the next thing is to draw your armhole. So for my armhole um, depth, I'm going to be marking 7 inches for my armhole. Okay, and then on this 7 inches, I'm going to transfer the same shoulder measurement to that side. So remember, it's 7 plus half inches for joining the sleeve. Okay, so I'm marking... Seven and a half like that, and I'm going to connect this like that. Okay, and once I'm done, I'll just extend this line like so. So find your midpoint, okay? Find your midpoint, and then mark the midpoint. All right. So just come in, come out by one inch at the corner like so. Okay. This. So after getting the midpoint like so, I'm going to come out by just half an inch. Okay, I'm going to connect this from this one inch here. Okay, so this like so. Make sure you blend this well. Good evening. And after connecting, connect it back to the sleeve like so. So we have our front armhole out. Okay, so the next thing is, okay, so I'm going to mark my next in the first point. That is three and a half inches, but I'm going to be adding, uh, but I'm going to be adding half an inch to this, okay, to join this together. So this uh, 4.25 inches, I'm going to transfer the same measurement to my waistline. So for marking my nipple to nipple point, okay, I added half an inch to that. Okay, so that I'll be able to join the pieces together without shortening my bust area. Okay, so that is the extent of adding one inch to your nipple to nipple point. Before you get your armhole on your chest line, okay, so on your armhole line, you mark your your the quarter of your bust measurement. Okay, so this is the quarter of your back measurement right now. And okay, so after marking the quarter of your back measurement, okay, so the next thing is to measure out your armhole. Okay, so you measure everything out. And I have seven point uh, almost seven and a half inches. So this is it. 
I'm going to be connecting this to my first point line using a curved ruler okay so I'm not going to be using a straight rule okay like I did for the others so I'm going to connect this okay using a curved rule I don't know how straight this is but I'm going to perfect this until I get a straight okay so after connecting this like so I'm going to be marking my dot only on this side so I'm not going to be touching this part but this side I'm going to be marking one and a half inches depending on the bust size okay so this time around I'm marking one and a half inch and from here I'm going to connect this to my my bust area like so okay yes so this after this i'm just going to connect this like that i hope guys this is basically simple to you so let me just go ahead and refine my lines really well so that they don't get confusing now i'm going to be taking one inch okay down from here all right and i'm going to join this to the first point line like that okay using a curve right yes so guys this is it right now we have a one inch removed from our first point now for the one inches that we've removed i'm going to be extending this out like that and i'm going to be marking so i'm going to join from here and create a new armhole okay for my For my princess dot. Okay, so now that I am done with the, the taking of the dot and also the dot, I'm going to be now inputting, imputing my measurement. So it's 35 inches divided by 2 divided by 4. So I'm going to mark it here like that. And I'm going to be adding 3 inches because 1 inch is joined this to this side and the two inches is going to be for sorry um the allowance of this dress um my waist measurement so the waist is 29 I'm going to mark my 29 inches here and then remember joining these two pieces we need half an inch here and half an inch here so i'm going to add one inches and plus the dot intake which is one and a half inches plus two inches for for the rest of the sewing allowance now i'm going to connect this to my bust line like so okay and so i'm going to be extending this line and i'm going to also connect it right up like that of attaching your neckline so I'm going to add half inches all around my neckline because I'll be attaching a band to this, okay? So I'm just going to connect this by using a free hand, okay? Yes, so just like that. All right, so after that, I'm going to join my back to my front by half an inch. And so I'm going to be adding another half an inch right up here. As well. Guys, for the back panel, everything is pretty much the same thing. And so I'm just removing my zipper belt from the waistline and also from the zip line. Okay, I'm taking out half an inch from the side and also half an inch for okay, so the waistline. But don't forget to join the zipper belt area. Okay, you've taken half an inch from there. Don't forget to add it back to the waistline. All right, so that's pretty much all that I want to explain for the back. 
So also don't forget that you will be adding your neck allowance to this, okay? So just mark your neck allowance like so, and then add your shoulder seam allowance and then cut this out, right? Yeah, so like I said, you remove half an inch from your zip area that is around the waistline, okay? And also the on the waistline, you remove half an inch, all right? So that helps with the the zipper board or that helps with removing the zipper board so and i'm going to be showing you the main uh, star of the shoe that is the, the neck band okay so i have ruled my horizontal line and i'm going to be dividing this into two and creating a vertical line okay so on that point that vertical line that is my shoulder okay so that is what connects your front to your back okay but this side i wrote center all right it's a mistake it's the shoulder part rather and this is the center back and this is the center front okay so guys the next thing that you have to do is to measure out your front neckline okay so we are going to be measuring our front all right and then we are not going to be adding the shoulder allowance to it okay so we are going to be measuring right starting from the tip of the shoulder allowance all the way to the center front and i have five inches for that okay so i'm just going to quickly place the five inches from my shoulder point okay from that vertical line outward okay and then mark so i'm going to be doing the same thing to the back i'm going to measure without adding my zip allowance and the shoulder allowance okay so i'm going to be marking that and i got three three quarter inches which i am going to be transferring onto my my shoulder from that shoulder point to my center back okay yeah so after marking this all right the next thing is looking at how the front neck okay curves out that is the trick of the shoe you need to kind of elevate that side by one an inch one inch and then connect it to the shoulder point okay so that will do all the magic it will sit well around your neck area and you'll be very comfortable in that so we are going to be leaving the back as straight as it is because looking at the back it is it is kind of straight okay so i'm just going in to perfect this line now i'm going to be marking 1.5 inches okay but i'm going to be marking this slanting it not straight okay so you're gonna slant it a bit and then mark so another 1.5 inches this is for the height of the band okay so I'm marking 1.5 inches in at the shoulder point as well and i'm going to connect this and create my band okay i'm going to connect the curve also with a curve ruler as well all right yeah so once this is done okay you cut your center front on fold okay so i'm just indicating cut on fold for your center front and for the center back you cut it open so i'm adding just half an inch all the way through without my center front so i'm not adding any inches to my center front and then I'm cutting this out. So this is the neck band. And I'm going to start by cutting all my pieces. Okay. Using the main fabric that I want. So I'm cutting out my neckline as well. So next is our sleeve cutting. Okay. You know, I, I've already added my fabric. Okay. 
I saw and I made a third page, added it to the line. So I have two pieces of this for the key. And so I'm, so I'm going to be making my start now. Like that. Okay, so after this, you divide your bust into uh, 12. Okay, the bust divided by 12, okay, plus 0 0.5 inches. And in this case, I have 4.25 inches, which I have already approximated. So this is my cup height, okay. So you insert your cup height, and then when you are done, you just connect this with a straight line. And remember, our ample was 7 inches, so I'm going to add 7 inches plus half an inch. We are making seven and a half inches. Okay, so I'm going to be connecting this point to this point, like so. Okay, to my start point, like that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the midpoint for this. So I have 4.25 here. Yeah. So I'm going to be dividing this into two, like that. Okay, now we are going to be creating our back armhole. So I'm going to come up, okay, by half an inch. And I'm going to be connecting this to this place and back to that place. So from here to here with a straight line, okay, and from here to here with a curved rule, okay. So I'm going to try my best to find up when this as the So this right here is the back of the Okay, so now for the front, I'm going to be using this main line that we created. What we want to do is we're going to be dividing this into two. Okay, so we are going to divide this into two. So 2.25 and then this into two as well okay so after that okay now we come to our newly created point and then mark a quarter inches up and this side mark a quarter inches down so after doing that you just connect from here to here to here okay and then from here to here to here with your curve rule okay all right then you flip your ruler this way then you continue okay so now we have our sleeve you have to fold the front and then the back so this here is also Front and then like that. Okay, so now with the um, bicep area, I just set your bicep measurement and connect this with a curve or a straight rule. Okay. Now we added just uh, one inch to my sleeve allowance, so one inch is going to and then here to one inch. Okay, so you connect, and that is how you make your a simple sleeve. Okay, so I'm going to be cutting this out. Why so make sure, I'll make sure that it aligns really well. Okay. I'm going to pin this. So I'm going to pin this together. Because I'm not that confident I can cut without it affecting. So after cutting the back panel, I'm going to be moving the pins and arrange this well to cut out the front okay the front panel so now right sides facing each other for the sleeve just cut out the front space and so that is all the pieces that we have for our dress all right so i'm going to begin by joining my dart okay as well as the front okay i'm going to join the front okay my lining separately and the fabric separately okay so for the neck i am going to be sewing all the way through okay to this side and i'm going to close it close it and i'm going to be leaving where i'm going to be attaching with to my top and i'm going to be folding that neck area in by half an inch so guys i'm done joining the so uh, to oh, panels together to that is my back and then my front panels now, the okay so that is the zipper board i was talking about okay so right now i've not ironed in my zipper so placing the front panel on it it looks kind of bigger than the back panel but it's all it's all good okay after ironing my zipper and certain things in place it's it all came fine so guys i'm done with my neckline like i said i have joined all the sides leaving the side that i'll be connecting to my 
a neck okay so i have notched the, the corner and I notched as I notched well and i've ironed in my half an inch for the allowance and that i i left okay, okay. Okay, yes yeah, so i've ironed, ironed all of it okay. in okay so now the and next thing that i'm going to do is i am going to attach this to my neck okay so i'm just going to sandwich it in okay so i'm going to open this up like so and i'm going to sandwich this in remember i do not add my zip allowance so i am going to just fold in my zip before inserting the neck line the neck okay so remember it's half an inch to join this so you insert this and then make sure that the half an inch uh, you left is what you are trying to pin okay so do not do beyond or below so make sure you are connecting this or you are inserting the neckline into the neck band by half an inch so you can just use the half an inch inside to guide so you should just lay uh, back to back with it it shouldn't overlap in the inside allowance okay i hope you guys know what i'm talking about so i'm just inserting this into this and i'm going to be pinning this all the way through i'm done i'm going to sew this okay and then for my sleeve all right so i am going to to join the sleeves okay i'm going to sew in by one inch allowance that i left on both on both sleeves okay and yes so once i am done i'll just join this to my armhole okay yes i'll just join or sew the sleeve to my armhole and then i'm going to be connecting my down part okay that is the flare that i cut out and i'll fix my zip okay so i did not make a tutorial on the flare because most of you know how to cut flare but if you want me to make a tutorial on it please comment in the comment section below thank you for watching and this is how the dress came out it looks nice it's sitting around the neck really round and fine okay so see you in my next tutorial please subscribe and then share like comment and i'll see you guys in the next one stay blessed and have a blast